Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Leo. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Leo. Any place you flip and switch the energy set will resonate only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Leo reading. Anything you need to know about me will be down below or in my bio. Let's see what does the universe want you to know. I hope you all enjoyed your birthday season. Let's see what's the tea. If this reading does not resonate, it's not your story this week. Someone's closed off. Resistance, guarded, blocking, pride, defensive, and wounded warrior. This one could be in their ego as well. For Leo, what do we have? What is the tea? We got clarity, heightened intuition. Some of you could be going through an awakening. Finally seeing things clearly about a person or a situation. Karma, right and wrong, we're weighing things out, cause and effect, choices, wants to make things right. Libra energy here with justice. All right, for Leo. We got stability, Capricorn energy, trying to balance, juggling, and uncertainties. Y'all got three cards. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, the world, new cycle, karmic completion, travel, fulfillment, achievement after obstacles. Look like you are getting back on track once the situation is over. You're done with it. It could have been a while. Could have be, could be a situation where you needed to trust divine time and let things be what they are. Okay. Or something has shown up now. It's time for something to pan out, work out, in, come to a close, moving. Some of you could be moving, traveling. But let's see. Something could have been um, back and forth with someone married here with justice. And the juggling energy. Some of you were in a third party dynamic. You're done with that. Or you no longer want to participate in it. However it go. Meaning you don't want to do it. Or you don't want to be in it. Or you don't want anyone using you. Or abusing you emotionally. Maybe even physically if they're having sex with other people. And not even being respectful about how they're going about it. But let's see. You're just done with it. Or someone's done with you. King of Pentacles, maybe this King of Pentacles Taurus energy is done with it. This King of Pentacles is going through an awakening about what makes or who makes him happy. Could be a speaker, someone he's watching, learning from. Or he's just getting ready to get a divorce because this lady is lacking affection or break up with her if it's not a divorce. Some of you are healing from an ex. Some of you are going through court matters. Things are quite rocky in your life at this time, but it will come to a close. Oh, Lord, it's a lot. Clarity for Leah. Yeah, some of you are in child support court. Or you're on trial for something. Clarity for Leah. Or you're wanting to take someone to court. Wow. The bottom of the deck is clarified here. Firstly, with the world jumping out. And what I mean is our bottom of the deck is showing up in our first clarification. What's being brought to a close is something you see clearly i'm trying to see what you're seeing clearly taurus scorpio leo and aquarius heavy with the world showing up twice this is the end of a cycle learning lessons finishing school graduation from school someone could be uh someone's child could be moving out of a home now that they've graduated with the world being the end of a cycle um full-time pregnancy here as well now that the baby is born someone wants a dna test here in court all right now that the child is 18, someone wants a DNA test. However, this goes, something going on at the end of a cycle. Mm. What is ending? What's the what's this? What's the world? For Leo. Some of you are traveling abroad. You're seeing the world differently after your travels. The hangman, delays, enlightenment too. Heavy on the enlightenment with the third eye opening. Justice. And that's my next card. Oh my God. So the world showed up twice. Justice showed up twice. I'm trying to dig here to see what are you seeing clearly, Leo? Some of you are cross watching. And Leo is starting to see your ass for who you are for, <laughs> for some of you. Pisces with the hangman. All right. Someone's name, can start, someone's name can start with a P. Okay. 
the hangman. Some of you are on trial. And it's being investigated here. It's coming to a close though. Or you're waiting for a divorce to be complete. What was what was stagnant, what was hanging in the balance, is now coming full circle. Full card for a new beginning with a new cycle. Some deception, some treachery, some sneaking around, some self-deception for some of you. Some temptation. Guarding this with the seven of wands, your energy, Leo energy. Some of you were waiting on a baby to be born in order to get a DNA test. Or your person was heavy on this divorce hanging in the balance. This is this is over. Someone could have held a connection up. Like let's say they had you waiting on them. The hangman could be waiting. Or you were waiting on them. Knowingly or and unknowingly for some of you. Meaning like you say, I'm just going to wait. I don't want to date anybody else. It's coming back full circle. It could be a reconciliation. Someone now sees clearly... Well, let's see. What's karma for Leo? How they feel, what they want. Who held them up? Who slowed them down? Who blocked their blessings? Karma. Leo. Justice. Six of Pentacles. Two scales? Damn. So this card here has a large scale. And this person of support and assistance has a scale in his hand too. Heavy on the Libra. Taurus energy too. So now we're dealing with Empress, Taurus, and Libra. But anyway, someone could be pregnant, fertile energy, twin, one half of a twin flame if I had to get off into that. Yeah, definitely a pregnancy here. Heavy I'm picking up on with the Queen of Pentacles. But there's some hostilities from the devil. Oh, Lord, and the death. Somebody did a death spell. Death, death to the devil and the five of swords. That's black magic. Uh, a ritual or some shit. But anyways... I'll get into that if I have to. Let's see what jumps out. Someone is now seeing that they want to bring balance to a connection. Equal give and take. Put in what you put in. Or this you giving back what they're giving to you or wanting to. Some of you are getting some kind of payout here in court. Heavy on the child support, splitting of assets, alimony, whatever this is. Six of Pentacles from the court system. A grant, a loan to start a business. Six of Pentacles to justice, just period. Cause and effect. Someone spent their money in the wrong way with the Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, someone received some. Uh, someone received some assistance from court. Could be child support, and they always still big and they still broke or they still need some. That's crazy. Cause how you in this Two of Pentacles if you getting money from whoever this is or whatever establishment this is. This is definitely giving improper spending here from this from this grant loan charity or uh, not a child support or alimony. How do you still need? And for others of you, like I said, someone wants to give to you equally. They could have been given to you and another and they're now seeing that clearly. Or you could have been given to two people. You're like, man, I don't really want to do that. Like, that's not really me that's not really my thing someone could someone could have been torn in between the two if they weren't actually given they were battling themselves i did see the seven of swords self-deception two of pentacles they were battling themselves wanting to be with someone else oh, this is you two of pentacles for leo emperor yeah so someone is receiving money from this emperor he got it but it's also causing him some financial issues. For some of you, this emperor was juggling multiple women, if not more than two. There's an imbalance within him internally going back and forth about how he felt, stressful choices. This emperor is also dealing with some court matters when it comes to his place of business. This could also be a drug dealer dynamic as well. Someone's on trial. Someone's trying to maintain an empire and it's quite troubling and stressful. He may need support himself or grant to keep things going all along, a business loan. Emperor is a business owner. Six of Pentacles justice. This is also a married man cheating or someone's twin flame cheating. 
Ace of Pentacles, heavy on a grant, loan, and giving money to sacrificial lamb of the emperor. He's made several sacrifices for the benefit of everyone else but himself. So he could be trying to stay in a dynamic to support someone financially or build his own finances up. Yeah, this is someone's twin, King of Wands. This is you with the lion for you men. Or you masculine energies watching. Animalistic with the lion and the lamb. Now, some of you, there could be some kind of instinctual, magnetic, pheromone type vibe or pull towards another if I had to go really, really deep. Which is causing some imbalance. Someone can't resist this instinctual pull. It's animalistic. It's biology. It's pheromones from another. Damn. One more for this emperor. Aries energy with the emperor. Falling over the hangman. The world judgment. He has to make a, a major decision. He's reevaluating things that he were uncertain about. The moon is uncertainties. Uncertainty is right there at the corner. The moon is uncertainties, doubt, fear, emotions. This emperor is going through a lot. For some of you, this emperor, this is this could be his forefront. He looks like a man of status and stability, power, protection, and authority. But he has a lot of internal conflict, and some of that internal conflict is financial. He's having to reflect his whole life judgment. And he's also going through a spiritual awakening. World at the bottom of the deck for Leo. Falling over the six of pentacles and the weighing things out. Nine of wands, wounded warrior. Perseverance through obstacles. It say achievement after obstacle. Right there at the nail. And then the nine of wands is always something to fight, but he's still standing. Is our clarification Sagittarius energy? There's some kind of group or networking here, uh, with this business loan and coming together and starting something, building something up. Someone's confused about which way to go. There's also some confusion or someone exploring their options in a third party. Someone doesn't know where they stand or if a commitment is coming towards them or not, or if they even want to be in a commitment because they're still busy having fun, exploring their options, married or not, they're still exploring their options. could be with a cancer with that car cranking up in chariot and tarot but um yeah this this is a wolf here on this deck it's another deck it's some kind of bear or something sometimes it's a person there that causes conflict in someone's life that's coming to a close though someone's done fighting in court with this person but some of you they're just gonna go on out and get this divorce and get this person his money but some of you if you're troubled with some kind of finances looks like you need to call on the system here Okay. Someone could be trying to sue this emperor too. All right. Some of you are getting out of jail and you're getting some kind of grant on loan or something. Or you just got out of jail. Okay. This emperor is trying to figure out what he wants. He has a lot of internal... I was going to say war. Internal conflict. What's the conflict? There's a soul contract here as well, pending. Taurus got that energy. Nine of Wands. What is he battling? What's coming to a close? Falling over clarity with the world. And I'm clarifying the world, the hermit. Self-reflection. Virgo energy. Some of y'all could be on the cusp with the death. Something's over. Spirit said, listen, whatever this is, this person has gone through an awakening. It's over with. I was trying to life force energy new patterns life force energy new patterns and progress yeah whatever this person or you were battling with the world and the death showing go what's behind the death the devil toxicity opposition internal conflict internal shadow shadow work that has been processed they could have ghosted you because they were going through a lot of things in their life whatever it is is coming back full circle whatever this is is working out in your favor and it's over with Wherever you stood in the situation, you're done with it. You've learned from it. Complete transformation. Well, I'm proud of you if you're the one making the necessary moves in order to bring this shit to a close and do what's right. And if this person is doing this for themselves and you're the other person wanting to hold on, you need to let it go because that's what's best. Death. The end of anything toxic, anything uncertain, anything karmic. Karmic completion. 
I read for everybody. If you're trying to hold on to a situation because you feel like it's the right thing to do, you're being guided to let it go today right here in my reading. Some of you have a lot of internal things that you need to do, shadow work, in order to be able to reflect. Heavy on the self-reflection, taking accountability and doing what's right. Beautiful read. Peace.